Malasada is her younger and very talented teammate, the 17-year-old from Nagoya, who was the silver medalist at the World Championships at home in Tokyo in March, a very close competition with Miki Ando, the eventual winner. And Mao now has to fashion a comeback because of a struggling short program. But she's done it before. down that she's planning to attempt a triple axel. I did not see her try one in warm up. I will be surprised if she tries it in this competition. Will she do it? Let's see, coming up now. Double. Look how she floats across the ice. triple combination planned here. Extremely difficult triple flip into a triple loop. Yes! By way of contrast to Cynthia Phaneuf, who we saw earlier, Mao has also grown physically substantially, but Tracy, she hasn't lost any of those jumps. Footwork here into her triple lutz. Nice light jumps, a beautiful spring into the air and a soft landing. This program was choreographed by Canadian Laurie Nickel, and I just think, think it brings out Mao's best qualities, the soft, light knees, delicate movement across the ice. For the position in the spiral. A huge following at home in Japan. It comes with her on the road. 33 accredited television people here from Japan to follow the progress of Mao Asada. And she revels in the attention. Final planned triple. It's a triple flip. Double loop. she's used to it she's grown up and since 12 they've been following her that's when she started landing triple triples in the triple axle the phenom watch how she uses her knees and full body movement to interpret this footwork sequence for Canadians to see the wonderful Mawasada of Japan up close and in person and very nearly at her best.
technically clean and precise, emotionally reserved until the very end. And a little bit slow now. They'll check the second triple there to make sure it was fully rotated. May have a downgrade. But a very, very complex program, both in terms of jumps, choreography, spins. Absolutely full, wonderful expression at the end. Mawasada of Japan, Emily Hughes of the United States next. Welcome back to Lukawase, Mao Asada and her coach Rafael Artunian. They train in Lake Arrowhead, California. And Mao Asada needs 111.35 for the lead to pass Yukari Nakano, her teammate from Japan. By the way, Asada's personal best in the free skate is a whopping 133.13. Technical elements, 61.74. She's well on her way here, Tracy. On her way, not her very best effort. Of course, we didn't see the triple axel, and her triple-triple combination was downgraded to a triple-double. 119.58 comfortably puts her in the lead over Nakano. 177.66 now becomes the benchmark with only two skaters remaining here at Home Sense Skate Canada International.